What's up, Jess Cat Eye Squad? Um, we bought some stuff at Daiso. Yes, and today we're going to be opening the cool stuff that we found at the store. And you get to see all the stuff they have. And so Daiso is this really uh, cool little market. It's like a Japanese... Um, it's like, you know, we have a dollar store. Well, it's like a Japanese dollar store. But it's not a dollar, it's a dollar fifty. And then they also have a few items that's a little more expensive than a dollar. But the majority of the stuff is just a dollar fifty. Um, I, my birthday just passed by and I'm eight now. Yep. <laughs> okay, so let's open this up. First item we have is strawberry haiku. Well, this it's kind of like haichu, but it's called um I think pukchao. Pukchao. Want to try one right now? Mhm. Mm okay, let's try one. Ooh, this looks pretty. Like looks like a racer kind mm -hmm. of. Oh, I've got a bubble. Mmm. <laughs> When you see it has one of those little extra gummies inside. Like mm -hmm. this one. Mm-hmm. And another um, thing that we got. Mr. Ryan really loves is these. Cal Pico drink. I drank the other one. <laughs> mm -mm. What? Be careful not to break your retainer. Oh, Soraya has this little metal bar from when she went to the dentist and they said be careful eating gummy foods because it can make it I get a little loose. <laughs> okay, did you eat already? You ate already? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Okay, here's Soraya. You wanna tell everybody how you think it tastes? Okay. They also have like strawberry don't they have strawberries this one? Yeah, like other flavors. This is my favorite. Which likes the original the best. Yep. It tastes really good. It's like kind of, it's like sweet. <laughs> it's sweet. It's a like sweet drink and it has like a really good flavor to it. Mm-hmm. And um... I mean, it doesn't seem like it's super healthy, but one time at a grocery store, there was a sample of this, and the lady giving out the sample said, this is very good for your stomach. And she said it's like drinking yogurt. But, does it taste like yogurt? No. <laughs> I thought this is really cute. This is... Mm, it's like a little Christmas hair... hair, hair bow? Um, I thought they were really cute. Wait, how'd you do that? Hmm? How'd you do that? Uh, just pull them out of the cardboard, see? They were clipped on like this, and I just pulled them off. Oh, I oh. thought... I thought. Let's see how it looks. I thought, like, it was, like, in the This cardboard. is, like, to get into the spirit of the holidays. See? Mm. Oh, I guess it's time to put one on you. Twins! I hate these little things. <laughs> I hate those clips. <laughs> They're uncomfortable. Okay, what else do we got? We got... Uh, I don't have any rice right now, but I I think this looks so adorable. So maybe there will be a cooking video coming up. So, no, it's a really adorable little, like, rice, rice shaper where you put your rice inside of here. So you put rice on this side and on this side. And then when you close it, you snap it, and then I think you give it like an extra push to make sure your rice is in there really flat. Looks like a syringe, but it's a teddy bear. But you can put seaweed on it to give it like a little face. Oh, and since we got that, I also got this right here. So this will stamp your seaweed to give you the, the little face parts, like it will give you the ears, the eyes, the mouth, and the whiskers. Oh, we actually have a um, CD. You want to stamp it to see if it works? Mm-hmm. Got the CD parts. Now it's time to stamp it. 
Oh, I think that was a fail. Let's see. Well, the only thing it did was make a little hole in my seaweed. Nothing fell out. I thought it was going to come out perfect. I'll try one more time. Mmm, seaweed. This ear didn't come out. Oh, okay. So can you see like the little cat face kind of there? And then you just take the leftover parts and you put it on the rice. Like this is a little ear. I guess I'll have to have a piece of seaweed too. Oh, this stuff always gets stuck in my teeth though. This is an interesting item. This is a pencil sharpener that you could put on your water bottle so that um, you can you can um, sharpen your pencil a lot and without worrying about like dumping your little tiny uh, sharpener so much. So we saved this water bottle. So we just like this. Even a super huge one that's this big. Look, this will take a really long time to fill up with pencil shavings. And this is so cute because look, um, as a little cover for the strawberry, this is where you sharpen your pencil. And so I has been working so hard at school that she has a lot of pencils that need to be sharpened. Okay, so. so it falls Let's in see. your water? Ooh, that's nice and sharp. Let's do one more. Let's do one more until it falls to the bottom. Oh, that one came out nice and pointy. This is like the perfect point when you're going to do some art too. More strawberry candy, I'll say that. There you go, see? There's the pencil sharp shavings, and then just put your little cup back on. And keep it like that. All right, one other item we got is this cute little train, and it's supposed to suck up all of your eraser pieces. After you just got done erasing something with your eraser. So here's like all the little pieces right here. And then you just um, skip it forward. And now, all of the eraser pieces are right in here, in this little tiny drawer. So that was another little interesting item that we bought. You can see how it looks like a little train, like a little bullet train. And um, I read about these like bullet trains in Japan that takes you like everywhere. We also got these pop rocks, but the um, interesting thing is that they're not just pop rocks, they're turned into gum. So that's pretty interesting. I've never seen a uh, pop rocks turn to gum. <laughs> I can't reach them. Don't eat all of them. Your sister eats them. You get so little. <laughs> They're so poppy. This is something for like scooping your rice out. It's like a cat shape. You can see that little thing. It's supposed to be a tail. So. Yeah, I think it opens up like that. Oh. You just pull it up, honey. That's the spoon, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a serving spoon for your rice, like when you steam your rice or whatever you want to use it for. Pudding, jello, ice cream. I want to put jello in there to crack it open. So it's just like kind of cute for the counter. You've never seen this before. Electric eraser. I do not know how it works. I guess it's supposed to erase extra good. We'll find out. I never thought I needed. I had a purpose for an electric eraser, but I thought that I would just give it a try. It says open here. There's a twist open. Okay, it opened up, so I have to put the batteries in here. In here. It spins really fast. Okay. This is the cover, I think, right here. It keeps it so it can't open up. So let's draw on something and see how good this can erase.
This, this is this is revenge for losing on my Pokemon battle. Ah, well, you, ah, you, you want to race? Do you do it kind of sideways? You think? What? <laughs> and not a racing. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe feel. Let me give it a try. Yeah, if you press down hard, if you even press down a little bit on your paper, it will not erase. The motor, it, it just stops spinning. I think for like a safety reason, like if it gets stuck in your hair. Well, I think this doesn't erase too well. I guess it's just cool to have an electric eraser. Well, that's revenge for eating. That sounds fancy, right? Like, I never met anybody who has an electric eraser. Yeah. But now you met one person yourself. It may look like it's reasonable, but um, see how you can still see the lines. For our next item, we're going to need our pet cat. I got my cat on my birthday. And these are like supposed to be like little chair covers, but they're so small. They can probably be like if you have a cat or a dog with small paws. I mean, something cute to put on them. They probably don't like it because they it makes them walk funny, but uh, my daughter wanted to give it a try. These are so cute, they could probably even be like baby socks for like newborn babies. And I saw these at a pet store before, but um, you know, they weren't labeled for a chair. And at a pet store, they were like 15 bucks. I'm gonna try scratching, it doesn't even scratch. <laughs> Our cat's friendly. Like, you can pick it up all you want. <laughs> Never ever wants to scratch you. Here you go, here's the other one. Friends forever for its life. <laughs> it almost looks like a little mitten. So it could be like, you could do a little song that says the little kitten that lost the mitten. No, I mean, it's three mittens. Okay. That'll just look weird. Here's that thing. That's what I meant, is both two mittens. But there's like different colors. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will only, as soon as you put the cat on, this will last like a second and it'll come right off. Yeah, the cat's butt is big. What about Sandy? Sandy? Oh yes, our dog. Yeah, let's check out Sandy. <laughs> the cat looks tired. <laughs> this is so cute. So let's see our, um, the little kitty's reaction when we place her down with the mittens. This is just for fun. We're not going to be putting mittens on our cat all the time. We just thought they were really adorable. And also, we can stuff these and turn them into little plushies or like little keychains. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they came off so fast. <laughs> that was like less than um, five seconds. Oh, yes, we also got this thing. Yeah. It's um a cute little like keychain with the measuring tape on it. And it locks in place too. So I think if you give it a tug, it'll go back in. Uh oh, I think I have to stretch it all the way out. So go back in. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's oh no, it might be stuck. It's going forever. Uh oh, how will it go back in? Oh, look at that, how clever. You gotta push the nose in. Okay, sorry, wanna push the nose? Push the nose. I'm scared. What if I'll hold it? I'll hold it. Push the nose. Push the nose. Okay, good. Yeah, push the nose. This thing isn't made of like that hard metal. Oh, yeah. Look, you, you hold the nose for it to go back in. So, this is really cute. I mean, you never know when you have to measure something, right? I'm going to measure the cat. Okay, so go and get in. Ready? Let's measure how long your cat's leg is. Ready? <laughs> One leg looks like it's about 13 inches. That's cute. 13 inches, wow. Okay, we also got these um, gloves, but I didn't realize until after I got them. I just thought they looked nice, but I didn't realize after that the fingertips are gray and it's supposed to be touchscreen gloves, so you can uh, use your phone or tablet or something even with your gloves on. So we're going to see if it works. Uh-oh. Oh, I, I pulled the string and I made a little piece of string come out. Oh. Uh -huh. Don't put your glove on. Just the pointer and the thumb have that little gray tip. Okay, go on, sorry, try to make a code. Uh oh, not working. <laughs> it don't work well. Oh, it is working. They don't work well. Yeah? 
Okay. Can I check one more time? Is it? Let me see. Wait, Maybe if I just make it more tight without it being wrinkled, if it works better. Okay. Can you... It's working. Okay. Thanks, Vincent. We got that for the car. Yes, it's one of those like uh, lucky cats. Uh, you just put it in the sun. I had one a long time ago, but my little daughter broke it. So it's just a little solar powered thing, and the little kitty's always gonna be like going like this. But it's like, wow. like that. And it has like a little sticker so you can stick it to your car. Or wherever you want it. You can stick it to your car or wherever you want it. Very last item we got is for the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, it's for the, it's like for the bathtub or you could just get like a spaghetti spot, uh, like a spaghetti pot and do this with your child or some cups. And these things. So, so right, you really like these, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, they're like these little pills. And you got, if you have a little one, you gotta like really supervise and they don't eat them, of course. And then inside is like a little sponge animal. So these ones are going to be, mm, looks like these ones are going to be like um, typical, like like zoo animals you would find at the zoo. Like that. And that's all we got, right? Is mm -hmm. that all we got? Okay, thanks for watching. Ready? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay well thanks for watching our little shopping haul of all the different interesting items that we found at Daiso yep bye bye subscribe and like this video if you like the stuff that we found bye Squad, did you know those these little things that have these little yeah. pill jars okay go ahead put them in the water put them here see Let's what you see. got Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. What? what is it? It's hatching. The eggs are hatching. No. Pet them. Pet the eggs. Look, you gotta go like this and like squish it around. And then you can, uh, you'll get to see your animal. Ooh. I think I've got the draft. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. What is that thing? Um, I think this is the anteater. We got our mom's favorite animal giraffe. And it's her favorite color, red. <laughs> What's this? Monkey? Yeah, I think it's like not lips. <laughs> oh, I like the cheetah. Monkey, yeah. The cheetah shape came out really great. Oh, oh your eggs are hatching. Oh, yeah, look, the monkey. There's the monkey. <laughs> it's like we're like a rhino. <laughs> She's probably looking confused, like, that's a monkey? How? Ew! <laughs> Are you trying to lift up its tail? Looks like an ostrich or something like that. Oh yeah, that's an ostrich.